because treatment plants are traditionally are built outside the cities, as far as possible, land was no issue back then. Uh, we as a society, the, or the engineering society has built, you know, plenty of space was usually agriculture space was available. So they were sprawling very, very large facilities. So, but the moment you change uh, the whole philosophy and you create the ability to build these in, 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 a, in a much more, um, I would say, you know, civilized way, if you want then the whole design philosophy has to change. I like to compare this to the phenomena when the, uh, when the loo, the toilet, made its way into the apartment. And it used to be outside on the corridor, it used to be outside in the, in the backyard, and in the, uh, in, the, in the 19th century, towards the end of the 19th century, it, it's, it became with the f uh, water uh, flushing of the toilet, it became possible to m make it more acceptable. And now people would spend tens of thousands of euros sometimes in a very nice bathroom in the middle of the house or the apartment with a throne in the middle. Okay? And a very similar uh, phenomena is happening with, uh, with wastewater treatment. Wastewater treatment is coming to town. And it's partially made possible by the technology and possible, uh, partially because of the design philosophy that is applied here. For example, uh, and for those of you who are familiar with industry standards, th these are really amazing numbers that you could have a 50,000 cubic meter plant you know, built soup to nuts on uh, 6,500 square meters. These are amazing numbers. You know, anything comparable would be two, three times uh, the size. 